Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's been a very long time since I've opened a box, uh, a box of cards actually, and uh, today we're going back, or back, <laughs> it's been, you know, a whole, what, three to four months, uh, we are going to open a War of the Spark box with a dull knife, apparently, because, yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a long time, actually. Um, I think, well, maybe, what, a month? Or maybe even longer. I think longer. Since I've opened up uh, a War of the Spark box. Um, I don't even know why I'm putting it up, because I'm taking the packs out anyway. This is actually a... Uh, box from the USA so I am they're almost bumped over the camera I am curious on what's inside what kind of a box this is and uh, to see if this is a uh, god box or uh, something else so yeah let's go and let's get cracking yeah these uh, packs open uh, differently uh, I actually been playing a lot of uh, MTGA and uh, there's a lot of cards like this one that are very, very popular. Uh, man, these cards are... Uh, can you see the coloring on this? It's very vague or it's not as vibrant. But we have a, Nissa, or a Vivian sorry, and a Commander Dreadhorde foil. That's a nice one. Is that a... Mythic rare already? Are we done? Well, might as well stop the video. Because apparently, that's our foil rare on the first pack. Man, well, you know, who knows? Uh, let's see what kind of uh, box we have. If we have like a god box or a finale box. Oh man, it's been a while since I've opened one of these boxes. It's fun. Solar Blaze. Solar Blaze. Each creature da deals damage to itself equal to its power. Yeah, that can do a nice board wipe. Uh, no escape, actually, I use that too. Uh, there's so many cards that are so very familiar right now. Uh, when you play a lot of standard, uh, and oh, by the way, we have Tefiri, which is also a nice price. Uh, playing a lot of standard on uh, Arena is actually very pleasing. It is very nice. It's uh, it's it's a good game, and I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. Oh, oh, and we have a god, God Eternal Oketra. Well, then we all know what this is going to be. Uh, what type of box this is going to be? Maybe if we're lucky. Uh, there we go, and we have Merfolk. Yeah, seeing a lot of Merfolk. Play as well, Rawl, yep, and a Foil Wanderer's Strike. By the way, I find this quite expensive. Uh, I mean, it's exile, exile target creature and then proliferate, uh, but it's a 5 drop. 5 drop is, well, it's kind of high. I mean, in standard, you're trying to, you know, get rid of uh, hostiles, and there's not many people that I uh, that have encountered that play uh, a lot of graveyard uh, work. So, Awakening of Vidugazi. Yeah. Not really an interesting card. Um, not many people play that kind of. It's more of a quick and dirty or really a build-up like with Risen Reef and Elementals. Spark Double. Yeah, I've seen that in action. That can be hurtful. Man, really hurtful. Uh, there we go. Uh, Agent of Treachery, for instance, and uh, Spark Double, and oh man, stuff like that. It's just insane. You can take over the board, literally. A Johnny, the small one, as they call it. You gain three life, but also you put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. And a loyalty counter on each other planewalker you control. That's quite, quite interesting. Um, here we go. Oh, Massacre, or our, our, our rare, bulky, rare actually, 
which is also very fun to see in action if you got a lot of ones and twos on the board. Man, that takes care of it really quickly. Domri is a rare. So we got a we got a Teferi, which is interesting, and a Vivian. Maybe I should keep the uh, maybe I should keep the Planeswalkers separate from only the rares. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I'm making a mess. I don't care. So we got we already got five Planeswalkers. That is quite insane. Uh, let's make that six. <laughs> Sarkhan. I have a deck with that one. Uh, it is... what? Wait, what? The Elder Spell. Oh, wait. That was another foil rare. Okay, so we got Command the Dreadhorde and the Elder Spell in foil. Well, well, what do you know? That is actually pretty good. Uh, so, yeah, I know Sarkhan... Uh, it, it, if you have a lot of Planeswalkers on the table, man, that'll kill it. Finale of Revelation. Wait, wait, what's going on here? We got a God and a Finale. <laughs> oh, no. Now, which way is it going to go? I don't know. Oh, dear. Yeah. Now, I don't know if it's, gonna, it's a God box or a Finale box. Single combat. Yeah. Creature play you walker they control and sacrifice the rest. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. No, um a Johnny's Pride Mate, that is insane as well. Oh my god, there's a oh that's a I was like Dreador Arcanist also it went up in value. Uh, people play with it a lot. Rawls Outburst, which is actually a fun card. Uh in a uh, in a blue red deck, and I've, I've been I've been uh, using that too, with um, with another deck that I've built. Uh, I actually also post some decks on uh, on YouTube that I've played with, and there's a lot of them that you don't even see. Jace, Wheel of Mysteries, nice for the mill deck to win. Yeah, mill yourself. That's what I mean. Oh yeah, four risen reefs. Put a Jace down. Protect Jace or save him for you know one of the last turns. Bio Essence Hydra and flap him down, and yeah, you can win. But don't mill yourself to death before before you can even do anything. So yeah, that, that's the um, that's the downside. You have to keep enough you have to keep enough mana available. Another Commander Dread Horde, but then not a foil. Um, these are interesting cards, man. These are some interesting cards, huh? War of the Spark. War of the Spark. It's been a while. Yeah, and uh, we got uh, Throne of Eldraine coming up. And it's looking really... Oh, Dreadout Butcher. Uh, it's looking really good, actually. I must say, there's so many cards in there that are doing so much weird stuff. It's it's insane. It's bonkers, man. It's it's bonkers. It's gonna go wild. Narset reversal. Oh, and also uh, before, well, let let me just open this pack up. Let me just open this up for a second. Yeah, tribal rager. Yeah. Oh, roll reversal. And a foil of Roska finisher. 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 Um, I actually. I want to mention, uh, mention two things. Uh, first, please subscribe, of course. I mean, I love that when you subscribe because that helps the channel, and it really does. Uh, if, if some of you don't know what the rules are nowadays for YouTube, uh, it's insane. So I really would appreciate it if you would subscribe because that would help me out a lot. And watch the video if you even haven't, you know, if you haven't stopped yet. And also, this card is something you can win when you subscribe. And I'll show it to you. Look at it. It's a Fairy Artisan, so it'll fit nicely into a Eldraine deck. Uh, or a deck with Eldraine cards in it, if you play Commander, for instance. Uh, it's a full art. I mean, if you look at it like this, you don't even notice it, that it's been altered. 
Uh, it's done by the Blue Pangolin. You can find the, the website on bluepangolin.com. So yeah, you can win this. So just subscribe and go to the Facebook page of the Blue Pangolin. Uh, link in the description, and uh, you can you can win it. And it doesn't matter to me if you live in on the other side of the of the planet. I'll send it to you when you win or if you win. Oh, and we got a god, God Eternal Bantu. Well, that's so far. That's two gods. One finale, so it looks like we're gonna go God Box. Interesting, God Box. Yeah, how did I get this box, huh? Ugin, the ineffable, ineffable, ineffable. Um, I bought these boxes on CardMarket.com. Uh, that's actually a European website. Uh, people sell their boxes there. They can only sell them if they're still originally sealed. Karn's Bastion. And uh, that's actually nice when you have a lot of planeswalkers around. You can proliferate. Uh, those god boxes are the, the, the god boxes. The boxes are all sealed. If they sell them as a sealed uh, booster box, they and they don't want bad uh, plain white celebration. They don't want any bad uh, reputation. So people sell the right stuff. Yep. And I haven't been let down yet. I mean, I bought a lot of uh, Modern Horizons there. And uh, oh, wait, now I'm putting the commons into the... Oh, man. What a noob, dude. Seriously. Oh, wait. I am a noob. Huh. And a tank, which nobody plays with. Steady aim as a foil common. But, uh, no, we don't, um, uh, so, yeah, we don't get any, or at least as far as I know, we don't have any bad people that sell junk there. Of course, uh, there might be some rotten apples, but I haven't met them yet. Ignite the bacon. Hmm. Mm hmm. Ignite that bacon. Two planeswalkers. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Yeah. That way you can prepare for them. Um... People are uh, uh, buying a lot of stuff there, and it's a thriving market. So if you're in Europe, you know, just try it out. And you can use uh, Sand Rover as a referral if you want to. Um, th that would be awesome, too, because, you know, helps me out as well. And it doesn't cost you anything, you know, extra. Yeah, these piles, man. Piles of common cards. Nobody wants them. Mobilize District. Because nobody has the Blast Zone. Because it's a, you know, scarce card. There we go. Did I? Yeah. Okay. I didn't mess that up. And we have Karn. Man, look at all the Planeswalkers. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Planeswalkers. Eight. Including Teferi. Who, you know, is big, the, the big Teferi is going to go out of rotation, or is going to be rotated out. That's the right way to say it. Uh, and, yes, there we go. God Eternal Kefnet. So, this is a God box. It has been confirmed. So, four Mythics, one Finale, Finale of Revelation. And, uh, and there we go. Sunblade Angel. Nice card, but it's just a tad too expensive. Oath of Kaya. You know, Oath of Kaya is nice to enchant a creature with. Or wait, no, that's not this one. Uh, nope, sorry, that's the wrong one. It's the other one. Oh, there are so many uh, Kaya stuff out there. There's also one that destroys all your creatures, which is awesome if you use it. Oh, and a Chandra's Triumph foil. Yeah, uh, like this card too. And it can really hurt the opponent. I can tell you that much. If you have a Chandra. Uh, Chandra deck. I have that too, by the way. Um, you can see it on MTGA. It, it, it can kill so fast. So hard. Or it can just, you know, grind out the uh, person's life with... Uh, the uh, legendary uh, mythic Chandra, because they put a emblem down, 
and they get one damage each or every turn unless you have Chandra's uh, uh, what do you call it oh I don't remember the name of it anyway it's the uh, the uh, 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 artifact so then you can put two down now that can go pretty fast I mean in the beginning you're like ah it's just two but then it's four and then it's six eight and then you're all almost dead <laughs> and you've won Oh, and Ravnica at war. Exile all multicolored pers uh, permanents. And a foil goblin assault team. Goblins. All right, well, this is the last pack. If you're still here, awesome. Uh, if you're still here, please subscribe and hit the like button. Uh, that can help me out. That would help me out a lot. And uh, let's see if we can get a last mythic. In maybe, 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 maybe. Nope, nope, nope. It's casualties is war at war, and a basic plains land and a token. All right, everybody. Thank you very much. And uh, well, if you want to see all the all the planeswalkers again, I think I'll use this as my. Uh, there we go. I think I'll use this as my uh, thumbnail. Thank you. Let's catch you on the next one.